everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and the Days of Sunlight is here, so we have a brand new event currency we can find to collect some brand new event items. So we should have a total of six currency to collect for today. Four of them are scattered around, and two can be found by doing activities in this area. So let's go talk to the Sunlight Guide, and they will take us there. Alrighty, today's scattered currency is pretty easy to find. We have one on this dock right here next to the, is that the Baffled Botanist? I think so. And then we have one across next to the Spirit that will uh, give us the old in-app purchase items. We have another one on the Procession of Jellyfish. This can be pretty much anywhere around the pond, but if you're here soon enough, it should be on the left-hand side like it is for me. And then the final scattered event currency can be found over here above where we can jam with the spirits. Just along here. So that is all for scattered event currency. Let's get started on the activity currency. All right, now we have two more currency that we can collect and that is by doing two different activities. There are four total activities we can do in this area. Now I'm gonna show you every single activity um, but we can only get two total currency per day from these, so you only have to do two of them. The first one is to walk over here, and we can play some music. We can jam out with these spirits. Much like the other events we've had in the past, you don't actually have to complete the music sheet. You can leave it, and it will count as being completed. So you might have to wait a little second for them to emote, and then the currency will appear over here. So the event currency from these activities will appear on these plates next to the lemonade stand. If you have no more plates, that means you have no more currency to collect. The next activity is to play tag with this spirit here. So we just have to walk up to them and we can interact and start to play tag. So all we have to do is follow them around for just a little bit and then we get our event currency. Ah, I'm coming. Oh, they've fallen. Poor fella. I believe this uh, spirit can also go in a different direction, so it might not be in the direction it just took me. Yay! All right, give me my currency, please. And thank you. The third activity we can do is we have to fly to the very top of this weird little tree trunk waterfall and we should have the option to dive after doing this dive we should get some event currency now again i've already collected my two activity event currency for today so we won't see the cutscene where the event currency appears but this is another way that you can get some and for the final activity we can rescue the jellyfish for the spirit in the very middle of the area so to do this we just have to dive Underneath, where we have these two spirits sitting on this little dock, there is a secret area under here, going through this tunnel, and then we can interact with this pile of wood that's in the middle. There should be some jellyfish stuck inside here. Oh, there we go. And then all we have to do is make our way back. And that should be another way to get some activity event currency. Again, I have already got my two for today, so we won't see me actually get the event currency or the cutscene for that. But this is another method to get some. So that is all four possible ways to gain some activity-based event currency for today. You can play tag, you can jam out with the spirits, you can do a big dive, or you can save these jellyfish here. And yeah, that should be all six event currency for today. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Hope you found this helpful. I'll see you around. Bye.